Let's pray. Hands together. Close your eyes. Very good. Hands together, Jeremiah. Close your eyes. Hands together. Come on. Like this. All right, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this morning. Thank you that we can learn more from your word. And I pray, Lord, that you bless our time together. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Who remembers last week? If you've been working on the memory verse, you remember what happened was last week. Simon remembers. Simon. About courage. About courage. Very good. And our verse was, we're going to read this one together. It was a long one, wasn't it? Our memory verse was from Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Let's read it together. You ready? Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Oh, that was a hard one for you young ones at the front, wasn't it? But this week we'll have a bit of an easier one. I think you guys can do this one. Memory verse we're taking from Judges. Judges. Can you guys say that? Judges. Can everyone say that? Judges. Very good. Judges chapter 21 verse 25. In those days there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. Okay, we're going to talk about this today. What is it saying here? It's saying there was a time when there wasn't a king. There was no authority in the country. And when there was no authority in the country, every man just did what they thought was right rather than what was right by God. This is what it's saying. In those days, there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. You see, when there's no leader, sometimes it can cause problems. All right, let's read this one together. You ready? Judges chapter 21, verse 25. In those days there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. All right, you'll have a chance to memorize that one afterwards. See if anyone memorizes it. Okay, otherwise you can get it in your book. All right, right in your own eyes. Right in your own eyes. What does right in your own eyes mean? Is that what it means? I've got some right in my eyes. I'm going to rub the right out of my own eyes. Do you think that's what it means? <laughs> no, that's not what it means. When you have something in your own eyes, it doesn't mean you actually have something in your eye that you have to get out. That's not what it means. What it means is what you think is right from your perspective. How do you determine what is right? Do you think it's right just because you think it's right? See this guy here? He's thinking, hey, he is the person that determines what's right and wrong. That's what it means when people do things that are right in their own eyes, is that they think themselves, I think it's right or wrong. Is that the way we should determine right and wrong? It's just what we think? Just our own opinion? No. Not our own opinion, right? How do we determine what is right and what is wrong? See, that was a problem in this verse. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. The way he saw it, his own opinion. Well, what's the right way to determine what's right and wrong? Who knows? Who knows the answer? What's the right way to determine what's right and wrong? Simon, what do you think? Yeah, that's, that's, that's true, but how do you know it's wrong to boast? There's a hint. What do you think it is? By the Bible, right, by God's Word. So we don't do what's right in our own eyes, like this kid. We do what's right by God's Word. We have to know and read the Bible so we know what's right and wrong. This is like there's no king in Israel. If people don't have a Bible, if they don't have an authority in their life, they do what's right in their own eyes. You'll do what's right in your own eyes rather than what's right by God. Isn't that right, Jeremiah? Yeah? 
So what are some ways, I'm trying to think of some ways where you guys might do something that's right in your own eyes rather than what's right by God's word. What do you think this is? What do you think this example is? Doing something right in your own eyes. What is this little girl doing? Who knows? You guys do it all the time. You must know this one. Huh, Sarah? No, although that's uh, describing the picture well. No, she's not putting her hand up because she wants to say something. <laughs> what do you think she's doing, Simon? Yeah, that's right. See, you can see her mother here. She's trying to tell her something, right? But then she doesn't want to listen to what her mommy has to say. She thinks she's right, doing what's right in her own eyes. But what does the Bible say? The Bible says, children, be obedient to your parents. Right? So is she doing the right thing? No, because from God's word, she needs to obey her mommy. When her mummy's trying to say something to her, look at her. She's doing what's right in her own eyes. Doesn't want to listen to mummy. Okay, so we don't want to do what's right in our own eyes when it comes to listening and obeying our parents. Isn't that right? I know it's not always easy to do. And our parents, I know I'm not perfect. Our parents aren't always perfect. But God commands us to obey our imperfect parents. You know that? So you don't want to do what's right in your own eyes and not listen. All right, let's take another example. Ugh, what's going on here? What do you think, Jordan? He doesn't want to eat his veggies. He doesn't want to eat what's good for him. And he might think, shh, no, no. He might think what's right in his own eyes is he doesn't have to eat veggies, does he? He doesn't have to eat healthy. All he wants to eat is chocolate and marshmallows and candy all the time. That's what happens when you're a child and you want to do what's right in your own eyes. You just want to eat all this junk food all the time. Not what's right by God's word, taking care of your body, eating your vegetables. And we all know the more we eat the things we don't like, we like them, don't we? You know, you know that song by Elmo in Sesame Street? How do you know you don't like it? You might try it. You might like it. Right? So, don't want to be like this kid. You want to do things that are right by God's word, not right in his own eyes. All right, one more example. Or maybe two more examples. I think I've got two more examples. What's this? Oh, I can relate to this one this morning. What's this? What do you think, Ryan? Very sleepy, but what do you think he's doing? He's very tired. Yes, Timothy. He's being lazy. He's being lazy. That's right. Maybe it's a Sunday morning. Right in his own eyes, what is it? They think, tired. I'm going to sleep in. I'm going to skip church. Don't a lot of people do that, don't they? When they're tired, they do what's right in their own eyes. They keep sleeping. Instead of what? Having to wake up. Go to church, get in God's house, doing what's right in God's eyes. All right, so here's another example. When we're lazy, we need to get up. Sometimes we need to wake up, get somewhere, but still sleeping. Okay? All right, what's one last example? I'll show you this picture. This is a picture we're familiar with. What's another way people do what's right in their own eyes? What do you think? Following God. Well, that's actually right in God's eyes. That's not something that's right in their own eyes. This is a hint, though. That's the, that's the good thing to do. Simon? Murdering people. Murdering people? So yeah, that's, a, that's a good example as well, where people sometimes do what's right in their own eyes, like abortion. You know, abortion is when they kill babies in the womb. You know, and they do what's right in their own eyes. It's a bit inconvenient for them, so they get rid of the baby. But that's not right in God's eyes, is it? Now, this one I want to tell you about is how people go to heaven. How people go to heaven. Because we know how we get to heaven. We need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. But some people, excuse me girls, yeah, very good Ari, you tell Noah to Jewish, come on, sit up please. Some people, they think they're going to get to heaven by how good they are. They're trying to do what's right in their own eyes, trying to earn God's favor by doing good works. Can we get to heaven by doing good works? What do you think? No. 
because we're all sinners. We come short of the glory of God. We need to believe on what Jesus did. That's what's right in God's eyes. We see the Lord Jesus. He died for us. We put our faith on him. And when we believe on him, we call upon his name, we can have salvation. Okay, and that's what everybody has to do. That's what you all have to do. Once you understand what it means to be saved, you need to call upon the Lord to be saved. So this is another way people do what is right in their own eyes. They follow false religion, follow false God, earn their way to heaven rather than putting their faith on Jesus. All right, so let's look at our memory verse again. We'll read it together and we'll see if any of you can memorize it. Okay. Ready? Judges, chapter 21, verse 25. In those days there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. Okay, in those days there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. Who wants to have a go?